everyone, this is Yom from Civil Center. Welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering student and professional. And for that, we keep making videos on different topics and on different software related to civil engineering field. We have also started a new thing for all the civil engineering students and professionals out there. So if you want to start a career as how to be a consultant, you will find a link in the description and if you like this video, then hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel. Now, in this series, we are talking about tech life structures where we are learning how you can do the detailing of a building. Okay, so what we have learned so far in this, we have already covered how you can modify the grid lines, model the different structural members and how you can provide the reinforcement in structural members so we have already covered almost all the structural members and today we are going to learn how you can generate the ga drawing for the same okay so we will start with a basic model and we will generate the drawing in that but this will not be covered everything in this video so you will have to just stick to the series and today we are going to start how you can create the GA drawing that means the general arrangement drawing so we will see what are the different things that can be seen in the general arrangement drawings and how it can be created so we will start with 3d view over here but you can generate the GA drawing with any view that you want so you can see I have already created a basic model over here and uh, just to have a quick revision we will just do a simple thing over here like the modeling of footing and then we will start with the rest of the things like uh, we will have to simply model another beam over here so let's go to the beam and let's model the beam for that you have to simply select the endpoints so if you haven't watched how you can just model all the beams and the footings over here then you can simply just go ahead and uh, look for the channel of uh, civil center on youtube and over there you will find how to modify all the beams and the columns along with the other instruction members so everything has already been discussed in detail in this series now we will start with this one okay so for that uh, first thing that we can do over here we can simply just change the size to 400 by 400 okay so let's uh, select all the beams we have to simply select it like this and then we can simply just change the size over here to 400 by 400 and click on modify okay now this is having a like required look and now we have to provide the reinforcement in all this so we will simply use the applications over here so like this you can also just see that we are revising all our concepts over here so we have to simply enter the column reinforcement and for that we will use the column reinforcement to provide so this is our column automated reinforcement and we have to simply select it and provide it over here so now we will simply provide it like this and this is very easy to do once you modify all your applications and in the similar way we can also look for the footing reinforcement for that you have to simply just go over here and search for pad footing reinforcement or you can just enter the application number 77 and it will give you the pad footing reinforcement at all these places in the same manner you can just look for beam reinforcement or you can simply go for the application number 63 over here now why i'm providing all this because we have to simply create the general arrangement drawing okay and for that we need everything over here so this basic model is completed now and in the slab we have already modeled it in a way how it is actually looking like the indian environment so in the last class we have discussed all these things now there is one more thing left over here and that is the starter bars so we will also go for the starter bars footing over here or you can simply go for the application number 87 and from there you can just provide the starter bars at all these places okay now press ctrl 1 and let's see if your starter bar is provided or not so you can see everything has been provided perfectly because this has been already modified in the previous lectures okay now if you want to create the general arrangement drawing so for that what we have to do 
we have to just click over here first of all let's fit it to the entire work area and for that you have to just redraw the view then fit work area to the entire model and the next thing that we can do over here is to create the general arrangement drawing so for that you have to just go into the work area right click over there and then you can create the general arrangement drawing from here you can select to in along which view you want to just create your general arrangement drawing i'm going to generate it in the 3d view okay so now click on create and it will create the general arrangement drawing so you can see the drawing has been generated and now you can see the grid lines over here and here are the grid lines then what is the arrangement of the reinforcement over here and what is the title of this drawing so this is according to the view we can also modify this uh, general arrangement drawing so for that you can just name it this is named a standard over here but you can name it anything that you want then comes the layout in the layout you can simply change the different things like if you want to change the layout to ga or assembly drawings or anything else then you can go for that then the size definition mode if you want to uh, get it to the specified size or you want to auto size it then you can do that then you can just uh, show the hidden object templates okay next thing is the view so in this view what we can change we can change the scale of the drawing so you can see this is 1 is to 50 you can just make it 1 is to 20 so that is up to you and it will modify it like this or you can just make it 1 is to 100 and it will modify it according to this so we are going to just keep the scale to 1 is to 50 over here that depends upon how heavy is your model and how you want to scale it okay next thing is view extension of neighbor parts and then the reflected views then you can also go for the show opening of the racist symbol okay now you can also set the location of that then the datum point of the elevation all the things that you can simply change from here then the shortening is there then the labels now in the labels you can see we have this 3d labeled over here now if you want to just use it using the mark then you can simply use a mark or if you want to modify it according to some text like uh, i want to just change it to text then you can just enter 3d drawings okay that is completely your choice what you want to name it g g so okay so it will be created like this 3d drawing okay now click on modify and you can see this 3d drawing has been changed over here okay so we are just removing the view name and we are just keeping the text over here then if you want to add a scale over here then you can also add the scale to this one okay like you can can just choose a scale and you can just enter it over here then what type you want to just write it like you want to change the type if you want to change the color then you can also choose any color that you want like i want to uh, modify to this one then i can simply click on scale then change the color over here to green and then click on modify and okay so like this you can simply modify each and everything now comes the symbol so i don't have any symbol over here but if you want then you can just provide the symbols like this and it will just show you a symbol over here okay but i would like to keep it none so i will just modify it accordingly then in the label if you want to change the size then you can also change the size to three and it will simply modify everything then comes the line length so if you want the minimum line length then you can just go for this one if you want a custom line length like you want to go for a custom line length of 100 then you can also do that okay but it is better to keep it minimum so i will just keep it minimum okay then comes the color okay color has not been discussed over here so you can just choose the length of uh, the color of the line okay then comes the position if you want to keep it above then you can also move it above and it will go above the like sheet next thing 
that is over here how you want to align it do you want to center align it to the view frame or you want to just left align it okay so like this you can go for the right alignment also and then comes the center align to view restriction box so like this you can simply just come over here and align all the things but i would like to keep it center aligned to view frame okay so i will keep it like this so you, either you can go for the title at the top or the bottom i would like to keep it at the top so i will simply modify it like this then comes the uh, anchor bolt pan i don't want to just go for that or if you want these two things at different levels then you can also go for that like uh, suppose you don't want the scale over here you can remove the scale from here okay now close this one and you want to create the scale name to another level then you can simply choose the scale name from here so you have to simply add the scale over here and click on modify so you can see the scale stamp present over here okay now you can also change everything like uh, you want to just uh, reduce this size to three then you can simply reduce it and it will modify accordingly so i want to just reduce this size to three then i can also select what kind of font i want like suppose i want times in roman and then 12 over here that is okay so we can simply go for 12 and then click on OK. Then we can also change the color to something different and click on modify. OK, and this has been modified in the same manner. We can also modify this line. That is the scale of here. OK, suppose you want this color. That is OK. You want the height to be three. OK. Then you can just go for three. You want uh, the font to be times in Roman. Go for times in Roman. Choose 12 and click on OK. So guys, in this session, we have learned how you can create the general arrangement drawings. And in the upcoming sessions, we will learn how you can modify the uh, general arrangement drawings and create the detailed drawing. So stay tuned with the series and we will keep making videos on every alternate day of the week so stay tuned to the channel and if you want to be a consultant then check out the description and if you have liked this video then hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel thank you